Hi, and welcome to Adaptation, the vlog for film adaptations and the original material they're based on. I'm Jessica Dick, and this is my shadow. But don't worry, she's really friendly, not at all like Peter Pan's from Once Upon a Time. I mean, did you see that last episode? And speaking of that little plot choice, evil Peter Pan, love it. That brings us right into our topic for this week's video, which is unforeseen twists. As in, we know the original material, we've read the book, the comic, seen the original TV show, but this particular moment or plot choice in the new adaptation just made us go, what? So first on our list, we actually have the entire Game of Thrones series. Which is a little bit interesting considering that the television series is actually one of the most accurate representations of a book series I think that any of us have ever seen. But considering that we actually know the original material upon going in, it's still such a surprise all the time. It really does highlight the difference between reading something, which you can still be emotionally invested in, and yet the sudden shock and the immediacy of seeing it on screen too. There's a reason why the reaction videos for the Red Wedding scene are so well watched and so hilarious, actually. The entire series just keeps throwing these shocks after you, so you don't really know how to handle it. Game of Thrones is definitely something that convinces you that you have to separate yourself from the characters or else you're gonna get hurt. So, moving on. Next on our list we have Breaking Dawn Part 2, specifically the faux battle scene at the end. Okay, so maybe it didn't actually happen, but for a good 15-20 minutes there, you thought the Volturi had actually killed Carlisle and Jasper and so many other people, but it was the most committed psych you've ever seen. It showed how much more exciting it could have been had they actually fought, but what do you expect from Stephanie Meyer? So moving on to the third choice on our list, Elementary, the show. This plot twist we thought was actually really clever in that the writers played your Sherlock knowledge against you. They made Irene Adler and Moriarty the same person. Not only were you completely taken aback by the fact that they made a criminal mastermind into a woman, if you know the original material, you're conditioned to think of Irene Adler as a worthy love interest of Sherlock, and then to find out that she's actually his nemesis, it was really interesting, a really good twist on it, and it definitely took you by surprise, too. However, considering that that was the end of the first season, I'm not sure how they're going to follow that up. So now we're moving into more of the superhero realm. Another unforeseen twist that we thought really took us by surprise was in Iron Man 3, the identity of the Mandarin, in that he never existed and Ben Kingsley was just this awesome, weird really raunchy actor who was portraying him for some conspiracy reason. And this was one where the movie makers used the trailers against us. It was so advertised and you saw the Mandarin so often on screen yourself that you were already preconditioned to imagine him as the bad guy. So when they bring someone else in and or when they tear that mask away and you see that he's just an innocent bystander, it really threw us for a loop. In keeping with the superhero line, we also thought The Dark Knight Rises had a couple really good plot twists. But what we thought that was really interesting for people who knew the original material that the movie was based on was the mere suggestion at the end that John Blake is supposed to become the next Batman. That one was one where, like, the precedent really didn't suggest that anything like that was going to happen. And even more than that, for anyone who has seen Batman Beyond, the mere fact that Bruce Wayne can walk away from the life? Not so believable, actually. So that's our list for this week of unforeseen twists, things that we took for granted that they threw a curveball in. What about you? Is there anything that you would add to this list, or what do you think of what we have? Don't forget to add your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, check out the links for our blog, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook pages. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our podcast on iTunes. This has been Adaptation, and hope to see you next week.